my time designing systems for various hostels of worship, a lot of times I'm dealing with a church that is in maybe a transitional period, or they have two different types of congregants, and so they have two different types of services. You have your typically older, more traditional style of congregant. They want to attend service and have it be very traditional, not a lot of lighting or rock uh, contemporary feel. And then you have the second service or the second part of your congregation that wants a more contemporary feel. And there's probably typically a band on stage, whereas in a traditional service there's not. So we're, we need a, to provide a system that goes from general illumination to one that goes to something very active. One thing that is unique to Houses of Worship is the fact that most often they're relying on volunteers to run the various systems, whether they be video, audio, or lighting. And so when we go into a location, we need to take that into account as well. Who is going to be running this system day in and day out? Is it going to be a revolving cast of, of volunteers? How easily can they grasp a new system? Are they aging? Do we need to make it very minimal? Houses of worship vary so greatly across denominations as well as regions and size that the fixture types that we utilize can vary drastically as well. From a very small church with a low budget, we might want to utilize a fixture like a PAR that is going to provide a broad, even soft coverage. Lecos or ellipsoidals are also very common in houses of worship, especially when we're dealing with projector screens or LED video walls. So if you have a church that has a video projector screen and maybe it's not very bright, we need to be very mindful of the fixtures that we use in that space and make sure that we're not getting a lot of light bleed on the projector surfaces because that's going to make the image even less visible. We also see a lot of linear fixtures. These fixtures can be utilized to uplight a wall and they also can be utilized for footlights which are very common in houses of worship as well when you're dealing with video capture. We also are starting to see a lot of moving lights in houses of worship. A moving light doesn't have to be seen moving. It doesn't have to move visually. It can be used as a flexible, repositionable special. Let's say you're doing a special program for Easter or Christmas. That moving light or pair of moving lights can be utilized to highlight a specific area of your space that you may not light normally. And then obviously in contemporary worship applications, moving lights are popular because they can emulate that concert type feel. We're also seeing colored lights being placed in the audience. The pendant lights that are being installed over the sanctuary space are quickly becoming color changing as well so that we can extend the feeling of the stage into the sanctuary more and give the congregation a more a better feeling of inclusion to what is happening um, at the front of the sanctuary.